Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, Dre Hunter, where we were consolidating Scotland into the realm. Well, the bits of Scotland we own. And we recently acquired Duchess Helen of Albany as our newest vassal. And something I thought of when I was uh, looking at the save game is that we can actually uh, tutor her. So. Let us get her, because she likes us. She really likes us. So let's get her tutored by us. Hopefully we can make a Norman, because she directly controls these places. At least I think she directly controls the places she owns. Oh, no. Okay. So she has one vassal. Well, one county level vassal at any rate. The Count of Fife. He might rebel at some point and that would solve all of our problems. Now I don't know exactly what I was doing with these guys. I think I was probably sending them back down here so that we could uh, transport them somewhere else. Do we now because she came into our realm? We do. Excellent. Let us get some more knights. That was not knights. Wait. Was it? Or wasn't it? No, that was not knights. This is knights. Gimme. Actually, no, some more archers and some more uh, swordsmen, well, heavy infantry, wouldn't be that bad of a thing, so let's do that. Okay. So, that done, I had another brainstorm, and that was that the problem with marrying people who are queens is that they insist on matrilineal marriage, but in the case of Aragon, she's of our dynasty, so... She might accept a normal betrothal to her daughter. Oh yeah, do that. Let's see if we can't bring Aragon into the realm. I think that is a good plan. So let's crank it up to speed level four. Dear uncle, peace be with you. I've decided to accept your suggestion of betrothal between Prince Simon and Princess Usenda. And because I did it as a normal marriage, she will be giving birth to Norman children, not to Castilians. Castilians would be kind of awkward. Ah, that's probably why I started moving my men, because our truce with the Serene Doge of Pisa is about to end, so we can go to war for another bit of de jure Sicily. Good plan. Good plan. You know, mm, I sort of want to create this empire. We could... Mm, it might cause problems. Ah, to hell with it. We'll figure it out later. Yes. Emperor Gerard the Great has created the title Empire of Britannia. Hooray! We are now a double emperor. Just like a double rainbow, except better. So, let's see. Are there any factions that we should be worried about? Not really. No, pretty much everyone's okay. This is good. Hang on. Really? Hello? Oh yeah, just in case I haven't mentioned it already in previous videos, the flavor titles, I made them available, or at least some of them, to other empires, so they can have crown princes and such, they just can't have them. Lord Inquisitors. That was mainly because the Golden Horde would then be spamming them, and they wouldn't have the concept of Inquisition, so kind of pointless for them to have it. Who are you? You are Popo. Who are you fighting? King Bishop Morgan I of the Isles. Really? But which bit of the Isles are you fighting for? The whole lot? The whole shebang? Hmm. This could be interesting. Uh, now, I will need boats, so I'll grab your boats my boats, and more of my boats, and even more of my boats. Good job, Otterick. Solid effort. And we will send all of our boats over to here. Really? You should know better than that. Only I hold kingdoms, except for Aquitaine. Alright. You guys board. And sail over here. You guys board as well. Good job. You guys need to combine. And I will give... 
English folk the command there. All right. And now let us head down to Salerno and Malfi. Cool. So you are ah good 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 good. You are the fellow who ooh, wrong bit of the map who holds that bit of burgundy. Excellent. And I guess we could try and kill off this guy. I don't want him to be Mongol. How likely is it that we could kill him? 34% chance of success, 38% chance of being discovered. What if we sent Mr. Spyman there? What about now? Oh, right, he hasn't actually formed any of those yet. Okay, but Duke Turold is grabbing the last bit of burgundy that's actually grabbable at this point. Some people died. Right, okay. Some people are basically just annoyed. Uh, cool. So let's have a look. Does Dejure Drift still happen? Hmm. I don't know. I would think so, but maybe not. We can imprison our Chancellor. Why? He's the heir to the Duchy of Galloway. Really? Really? Why? How are they even related? Hmm. I don't know, but presumably Faramond will have a kid. Yeah, his wife's already pregnant. Uh... Right, why can we imprison him? Because he's acted dishonorably towards me. How so? I have no idea. Oh well, it's not important. He's an old man, he'll probably die. Sancho I of Orléans has inherited the duchy from Pierre. He died. And Vassal Levy's raised it up. Right, because of our ships. Fair enough. Now, who are you drifting into? I guess we'll find out at the end of the year, because it'll say, The fever is gone, my nose is dry. Oh yeah, he was sick, wasn't he? Good, 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 good. Be alive. You have studied long and hard under the old spy master in your spare time, and he has two words, paradox, and he has taught you much about the game of cloak and dagger, the game of thrones. Your intrigue has improved. I do not fear the dark, but, but the night is dark and full of terrors. You should be worried, man. You should. Okay. Flandina. Who is she? Lowborn. Huh. She had a child. With somebody. Whatever. Not my problem. Zolt. Who is... Well, yeah, I know it's not Zolt, but that's what I'm calling him. He is a peasant leader. He's been exiled. Oh. Oh, it's killed him. Just because it's funny. Because you can do that without penalty. Uh, you guys are all good. What are you doing, Holy Roman Empire? Who are you fighting? A uh, peasant revolt of your own, and a third Mongol invasion. Really? Really, really. How many men can he raise? 292,000. So, a lot. How many can you raise? Come here. 89. Yeah. You're outnumbered almost 3 to 1. Actually, it might even be 3 to 1. The Lords of Aragon have approved the institution of the Absolute Crown Authority Law. Ooh. Huh. That could throw up... That could put a spanner in the works. Would it count as the title leaving the realm if she becomes part of an empire. I don't know. Well, how about this? Would you accept vassalization? No. But the title wouldn't leave until after these two had kids, so we might be okay. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, that one is unimportant, and I'm not creating the Duchy of Tripoli, thanks. Not right this moment. Okay, so did this...
counter tick up. It should be 24 now. That one did. What about this one? I can't tell. Alright, well, 38 for English stuff. 22 for Galicia and 24 for Portugal. Those are the numbers we'll have to remember. Okay. So our army has arrived. And Byzantium has apparently decided that they want Taranto. Well, that makes our next goal of conquest far rather easy, doesn't it? So declare war for Capua. Hang on. Is there a way I can claim it for me? I don't want to be Lord Mayor. What's his name's? New liege. No, no, I can't claim it for myself. Oh, that's right. Let us go conquer it. Count Berold has been imprisoned by Faramond of Beja. Seems he's being a petulant child. That's okay. We shall kill the Pisans. Geoffrey, or Geoffroy, Geoffroy of Gascon has inherited it from Yves. Died after a period of illness. Was he age 16? Is that what that said? Hang on, what? Agnatic Cognatic Primo, why are you... I don't know. History. Yves. Yeah, it did. Oh, right. If he died at age 16, he didn't have time to have another kid. So who... Did it go to? I'm assuming his sister's son. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. That one makes sense. I was confuzzled for a moment there because I was thinking, hang on, but they're not even related. William of Ulster has declared the Ulsterian claim on Argyle. Oh, okay. Well, have fun with that. Giselle has founded the Lower Crown Authority in Scotland. Okay. Fair enough. Now we could conceivably ask these fellas to join us. He might even say yes, because we are technically his de jure liege. But don't really want to. What about you? Nope. And you are in service to Moray. Well that's fine. I guess I could ask Morgan. Well actually no I couldn't, not right now, because he's at um He is currently at war. Popo, are you winning your war, Popo? You're Dutch, really? Okay, well, depending on what you win, we might declare war on you for it. So that's a thing. We can call in allies. Oh right, no, we won't do that. We won't bother. Not right now. We don't need them. We can probably win on our own merits. We outnumber the bastard after all. At least locally. There we go. Our knowledge of noble customs has increased. Excellent, but not exactly what we want. We need conquests. Quick and easy. Alright, 57% war score. Good. Let us now go and kick the crap out of those guys. Actually, can you... Get on board ship. You can. Excellent. Mark has excommunicated the Duke of Burgundy at the behest of the Prince... Oh, Prince Saya. Okay. He's the Count of Magna. Leptus Magna. Are these going to be pressed? Uh, passed on. Sorry. Ye only the Imperial one. Okay. Is his son content? No. About his son. No. Hmm. I was thinking about perhaps creating the title, but no. Alright, let's go conquer these places. Simply because we can. Attack. Yes. Uh, unimportant. Still unimportant. Nothing in here. Emma of Northumberland wants to see the Duchy of Navarre granted to a new ruler. I'm okay with that one. Oh, that's why he's acted dishonorably. I see. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
all unimportant things. But that's okay. Oh, hello. Let's go kick the crap out of that army instead. Why bother being here when we can go kick the crap out of them over there? Let us go. Alright, come here. Attack. Augusto of the Cathar Uprising has declared the Dehakor Empire Cathar Revolt. Really? I didn't think that could happen until moral authority was really, really low, and it's not really, really low. Well, we'll just have to deal with it in a minute. My liege, may your humors rot in your living body. You really don't like me, why not? Oh, right, because I'm a scheming bastard. Fair enough. Um, Nigel of Shalon seeks to kill Prince Simon. Really? Is that so? In prison. Simon is my kid. You're not allowed to kill him. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ruin your siege? Oh. That is a shame. I ruined your siege. Guess what else I ruined? Your realm. Alright. Get back on board ship. We're going to have to go deal with those Cathar uprising fellows. So what did they do? Oh, okay. Oh, they're in a coastal province. Excellent. We will risk the uh, casualties that a sea landing will give us, but that's all right. Okay with that. Uh, yeah, I thought we already did that, but uh, evidently not. We'll use up this. Thank you. Congratulations on your promotion. There you are. Done. Da da da. Yeah, it sort of gets to that point when you uh, when you're an emperor. When you're a dual emperor, sorry, because we are just that good. Who are you? You are Pizan. Oh, okay. Oh, right. I see. Really? The Byzantines seem to be going on a little bit of a reconquista. It's not really working. I guess it's working okay. Huh. Spitko the Great. I wonder, couldn't couldn't he conceivably create an empire from that? I thought that there was an empire that was over in this area. Uh, Wen Wendish Empire, maybe? I cannot remember. My son Simon is modest and humble, never showing off or bragging. You know, that's okay. The only thing that it does is make proud vassals a little bit suspicious of you. But that's fine. Uh, we can't hold a feast this year because we're at war. Well, actually, we might be able to hold it, depending on how quickly we beat these guys. 61%. Will you surrender now? No. Where are you off to? Saluzo, follow him. Uh, we don't need these ships. You can just chill. It's November. I don't think we'll be able to hold it. Oh no, hang on. The feasting season starts in November, doesn't it? Peace, dude. Peace out. Thank you. And can we indeed hold a feast? We can hold a feast. Let's do it. All my vassals will be there. Now, are you fighting a war of your own? You are. You're fighting against the Pisans. Well, I might help you out with that one after we've uh, had our feast. I don't want being cancelled like last time. Or maybe the time before. When I opened the door, I saw no one, but as I stepped aside to close it, a group of acrobats cartwheeled, somersaulted, and tumbled in. Excellent. Come to the feast. Um. You know what? Why not? We will get a fire eater, done. And wandering jongulers, jongulers, I don't know. Those guys. Tyrold of Gus Galicia has inherited it from Duke Roland. Died natural death. Uh, were they brothers? They were. You died in an accident. Right, an accident. I see. Actually, hang on. That Cathar thing might have been historically, re uh, historically relevant. It might have been a historical event because I'm fairly certain the Cathars were around in. Oh dear. Hang on. Wait. Is this somebody trying to kill me? Oh no, it's not somebody trying to kill me. Uh, it's saying fix up the. Yeah, repair it. Um. 
The Cathars were a group of French lords, and they believed in C Catharism, obviously. It's where the, uh, the religion name comes from, and they were around in the 1300s, but I can't remember exactly when it was. This might be historically accurate. Let us spend lots of money on food, although I thought we sent out our marshal to get the food. I could be wrong. It has been known to happen. Um, yes, everybody, come to my feast. Really? Well, that's not very nice. You deserve to lose your second duchy. Fair enough, you don't like me, I'm a scheming bastard. Why don't you like me? Oh, right, succession law. Okay, fair enough. You, low crown authority? Yeah. Well, out of all the guests that said no, a lot more said yes. Um, I'm going to have to give them the money. Because apparently you get tyranny for being just... Whatever. Really. These people these people are very, very drunk. You died. Uh, Serlo of Aquitaine. Why are you no longer being... Hmm. Can I educate you myself? Is that possible? No. I can get the Pope to do it. And he's actually kind of good. He's... Uh... A good leader. Let's see if we can get somebody content. Good stewardship. Actually, you're just really good in general, so there you go. Hmm, let's see. You have peace. Ulster versus the Isles. Yeah. You're getting your butt stomped, aren't you? Yep. You're not doing so well. Uh, are you? No. You're still stubbornly Scottish. I was hoping she'd become Norman. You can't always get what you want. Oh well. Uh, she'll hopefully have the feast. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, okay. Wait, you were gonna you were going to duel Count Nigel? I wanted you to. That would have been good. Uh, Herman got drunk, Jocelyn got drunk. Tybalt. Hey, thanks, dude. Nice. Raymond got drunk. That bishop, who I have no idea who he is. Count Friedrich. Oh, I had an actual prisoner in my dungeon. Oops. And he wasn't one of my vassals. Okay. But actually, let's go through the dungeon and see if there's anybody in here. Oh. Oh, uh, you, you, can, you can go. Bye. Do I have anybody who can actually give me money? Yes. That would be useful. You can go to hell. You're sitting in there. Actually, where's, um... Where's... There he is. Hey, Cathar man. You know how you know you're Cathar? Do you have any money? No, you have no money? Well, die. That's what happens when you rebel. Uh... The Duke of Burgundy was not happy with my food. You can go to hell. You got drunk. Whoa. Everybody leaves. Excellent. You've accepted guardianship. <sighs> Holy Roman Empire, what are you doing? What are these shenanigans? You're actually winning. Kaiser who? Oh. Oh! Franz died in battle. That's that's not good. Ouch. Poor dude. Okay. Uh, can we get more troops? We can get more troops. I'm going to wait a little bit though. Hmm. Okay, so are you still at war? Yes. Well, I need to shore up your liking me, so... I will assist you with this one. Let's go over there. Good. No, mother! She's dead. She was infirm. She lived for a long time. Wow, she lived 25 more years than him. Solid effort. Wow. Solid effort. Uh, dear uncle, blessings upon you and your house. I gladly accept your offer of assistance in my war. Wait, are you... Okay, yeah, right. So you are... 
my sister's daughter, and then she is my sister's daughter's daughter. Okay, good. You want to sort of avoid marrying too close to the family, mainly because uh, if you do, bad things happen. Who are you? Oh. Huh. How about that? Well, well played, Pisa. Well played. You've you've gained stuff. Ooh. You are rebelling. Is there anybody else rebelling that I could use? You? Nope. You? Nope. Ah, but you're not independent. Oh, same guy. You? Huh. For some reason I can. What would it be, though? Oh, it's for the County of Palmer. Huh. Maybe. Ah, but it's a two-county duchy. Huh. For some reason she owns Corsica as well. Whatever. Not important. Rebellions? Rebellions everywhere. Oh. Right, I forgot that I'd left you there. I don't need you to do that anymore. What I would like you to do, though, is... to... Hmm. Let's see. We need to fabricate claims on places that are sort of important to us. I wouldn't mind forming the Kingdom of Italy just to unite everything all together. But, alright, let's go for Dejure Duchies. Let's see if we can't grab a duchy or two. Let's go for Sousa first. So we want to go to Piedmont. Go there. Let's try doing that. If we can fabricate a claim on a whole duchy at once, that'll just make it easier. So, the Chief of Bamberg. It's been released from my dungeons, killed somebody, blah. People are trying to kill other people. Crown Prince Folkmar is no longer a valid candidate for my stuff, I suppose. This is actually really, really good because a lot of the people are really, really just kind of happy with how things are going. I'm fairly impressed, actually, because I was not expecting that they would be okay with the Second Empire title. I was expecting claims for England and Ireland and Britannia and all those other places. I was not expecting smoothness. Smoothness is nice. Alright, let's go over here. Nope, over here. You have founded the Prince Sayer for the Harcourt Empire? Yeah. Good luck with that. He's an old man. He's gonna die. It'll happen. These old folks, they die. Alright, so we are currently winning the war. If we can take over all these places very quickly, push them into surrender. Ah. Uh, yes, do that. When can I move you? Oh, I can move you now. No. August 28th. Okay, so not too long. Actually, I'll leave him there. I'll see if he can't get a claim on the entire duchy. Kill. Uh, no. Oubliette. Kill. Kill more. You've captured that entirely, so really, you just have to defeat a field army or two, and you should have it. You don't really need me hanging out over here anymore, so I'm going to send my dudes over this way. There we go. Victory. So they grab back Barcelona. Let's have a look. Digital Kingdoms. So this is being incorporated into Aragon. Navarra is a kingdom that nobody can actually form because there is... Actually, are there any Basque people left in the world? Let's have a look. Search everywhere. Uh, both genders, my culture, no. Okay, so that should be everybody in the entire world. Let's go by culture. Andalusian, Anglo-Saxon, Armenian, Basque. One, two. 
And they're both in the Navarese company. And they're both very, very old. <laughs> 